Hi, everybody. Okay, got a lot to cover, so let's go. Um, we've lost some video in between the last one and this one, because my camera sucks. I don't know if I'm going to get to be able to replace it, and I'll talk about that in the next video. Uh, so what we're working on is the side rails for the canopy. Uh, that not only is the actual side rail of the canopy, but it holds the canopy in place. That's what I'm working on in the background. What you see in the foreground is the structure of the upper front canopy kind of put together. So in the last video you saw me working on the ribs and we were sanding the ribs down um, and making sure everything was together and we put those two cross beams across. Right, so the cross beams not only hold the shape but it also gives you a great place to test for twist. If you put a digital level on both of those and the reading isn't the same, well guess what, you got twist. So those two, they actually have two purposes. One, make sure the uh, alignment of all the pieces is correct, and to make sure there's no twist. Uh, so those ribs that you saw me in the last video working on actually have a piece of aluminum that go across both of them. Uh, I know it's hard to tell, but if you look, yeah, you know, let me tell you what. Let me just point an arrow to it. So there, see that that little strip there? That is the strip that lays across the top of both ribs. So as I had mentioned before we started this chapter is that this is a very exacting chapter, right? This, this, you do not want any twist in this. And one of the things that you'll be told to do is to uh, drill out certain holes to sizes you're not familiar with, right? We're used to number 40, number 30, that's the size of the rivets. Now we're being asked to drill out to 330 seconds or 1 8. That is the, so a 330 second hole is the drill bit that is just beneath a number 40. And when I say just beneath, I'm talking by like a few thousandths, right? Uh, number 40 Clicos will still fit in it, and it'll be uber tight, right? Real tight. And so, and then, and then uh, 1 8 for number 30 does the same thing. So when you're putting all this together, they have you under drill so that when you Clico it in together, it's stout, right? And will stay square. That's the important part. Later on, we'll just drill them out to final size and rivet them all on. Okay, let's do some quick Q&A. Paul, discuss why you're incorporating ground feedback wiring in all of your components. Uh, ground loops. I'm not going to go into ground loops, but let's just say you want to avoid them. Do you, do, you, do you like having static and crap through your radios? I don't. You want to avoid that? Avoid ground loops. Uh, and also talk about EMI with wire bundling. Okay, so EMI, or EF, or RF, uh, when you're passing current through wires, uh, you know, anyone that's taken physics or made more than a D in physics will remember that electricity passing through metal causes a magnetic field. Uh, and magnetic fields, of course, can cause interference and all these other things. So whenever I'm passing large amounts of current down through this plane, what I do is I twist the wires together. Uh, here's a picture of what a twisted pair looks like. Just twisted wire. When that wire is twisted, the flow of electricity actually cancels out the magnetic field from both sides and helps to, you know, reduce greatly the amount of EMI interference. That's a good question by Paul, thank you. Uh, let's see, other news, there might be some hangar news soon. I don't want to give it away I'll, I'll let you know locally, but it's there's something that could be happening, and it could be cool. Now, let's see. Uh, we're up to uh, 937 members. Hi, everybody. Uh, and I will say this. So, for the foreseeable... So, starting next week... So, starting next week, for the foreseeable future, because I am 10 weeks ahead on video, and for the next week, or... Well, we'll see. I'm getting a lot of spare time, too work on the plane, for obvious reasons that we'll talk about in the next video. Uh, I'm going to be putting out four videos a week starting next week. I'll put out two... I don't know, I'll put out two on Wednesday, and I'll put out two on Saturday. I mean, three on Wednesday is cool, but this way, you know, I, I gotta... I gotta... I can't just save all these things up, so... Uh, in the next video, we're going to keep working on this, and I don't know, we might have a rant to talk about, so see you soon.